Hello everyone and welcome to so I'll show you how to implement Google OAuth 2.0 authentication in your Flask application using OAuthLib, um, the main and most used library for implementing OAuth 2.0 and 1.0 in Flask and Django and a lot of other uh, frameworks. Starting off, let's install uh, the package itself. Since we're using it with Flask, I'll be copying this command, but all of them work. Also, I need to go into my virtual environment, the end uh, scripts activate, and then pip install this. I'll be copying a very simple Flask uh, Hello World app just to you know make sure it does work. So as soon as this is done, we'll get into that. So if we do Flask run, this should open and Hello World, we're on the right track. The next thing we want to do is actually import and define the client. So we'll go into off lab off clients and then into Flask off client. In here, we'll copy this first and then I'll explain it. So here we import the Flask client uh, for off and then here we tie uh, off the, the off itself, the off the Flask client from the Authlib library to the app, the Flask application. The next thing you want to do is define two routes, the login and the authorized routes. So the login route is the first route that gets hit when a user logs in. And then the authorized route is the route uh, that they get redirected to if their authentication is successful. And then we redirect them again to uh, our main uh, route where we will use that info. Um, that they go authenticated with. The main thing here we need to do is actually, first of all, register a OAuth um, way of authentication. And we do that by calling the OAuth register method. I have a bit of um, configuration copied here. So this is gonna be standard and the same for everyone. Name, that's the name of the method, which will be Google in this situation. Um, and I'll say, ooh, Google, oh, Google equals this. So the name is gonna be Google, the client ID and the client secret will we get from the Google dashboard. Uh, access token URL will be the same for everyone. That's just, you can find it in the docs. We don't have any params for that. And the same goes for the auth URL. We also don't have any params for that. And then the base API URL, you will also be able to find in the documentation. The main thing here is the client keyword args, uh, which are which includes scope. Uh, scope is what we want Google to give back to us uh, using the token and the get method. So instead of calling access blah 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 this for authentication with Google, we use user info. So user info here. So I will call this as well user info. User info right here will contain the ID, so the Google ID, the profile, like including their name, last name, email, um, stuff like that, a picture, profile picture, and then the actual email. Um, so all of that will be in in this user info variable down here. Uh, we get this sort of like warning that token is not used. It is actually used. Just if you you can pass it here as token equals token. But if you don't do that, it will just look for the token in that scope, which will be here. And it just, the code looks cleaner if you don't pass it. And it's just like less stuff moving around and all that. Uh, anyway, so since this is configured, we can move on to the next step, which is actually implementing the Google off into these routes. So to do that, we want to say Google equals um, Google, no, uh, off dot uh, create client and then here we want to say google create i think that's correct create underscore yeah should be fine so we define these here and here and then instead of saying oh off twitter blah 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 we say just google and then here instead of saying oh off twitter we switch that to google oh off twitter to google and save that should be fine now so another thing we want to do is actually import URL for up here because we are using it and then also redirect since we are using it as well. And then another thing we're going to use here is session. I think it's just session. I'm not sure. I think it's just session. And then uh, since we are going to be using session, so this is going to be OAuth config, right? OAuth 
config. Since we are using sessions, we need to define app secret key, which will be the secret key uh, when encoding stuff in the app. And that will be equal to, what do I make that equal to? Um, Random secret, I don't know. It doesn't really matter for this example, but it should be something very, very hard to guess. So you should probably like randomly generate it or something. Uh, and then we need to get the client ID and the client secret. So those two you will get from the Google developer um, dashboard. And then you go into APIs and services. And then you go into credentials. You go This page will open. I'll blur it. But you will have a button here that says create credentials. You click on that. And then you can select the off client ID. And then you'll go through the process and create one. And then you'll have it here. And when you open it, it should look something like this. And then you can copy the client ID from up there and then the client secret right there. And so the next thing is that down here, you can see authorized redirect URLs, URLs. Uh, this should be a uh, local host and one, two, seven, uh, 5,000, because when you're logging in with Google, when they redirect back to your application, these are the authorized URIs that they will redirect to. So if you are developing locally, you need to put in localhost 5000 slash authorized 127 slash authorized because that's the URL you're redirecting to. That's the URL right here. Uh, if when you actually deploy this to your to like an actual website, you should put the actual website URL here, um, not localhost. But for development purposes, you need to add these right there. And for the most part, we are done. So another thing we want to do in here is actually display in some way that we have logged in. And the way I'll do that is in the hello world route, I will say email equals session. So we will have this session dictionary. It's not going to be a dictionary by default, but it's basically a dictionary. So we convert it to a dictionary and then we say from it, I want to get the email, which we will define. And if there is no email, just give me back none. And then in here, we'll just say hello email. And then you know, when the user logs in, it's going to say hello and the actual email. And if they do not log in, if it's like a, if they're not logged in, it's going to say hello, none. That's like the way we're going to tell if the user actually logged in. Now you could print the user info here and then pick and choose what you want. And you would probably use that to query the database here and then uh, select the user from the DB and select his info from there. And you wouldn't pass around Google info in your session cookie. Uh, but since I don't want to spend 20 minutes setting all that up, what I will do here is just say session email will equal user info email, which will just in the session, it will put email in the user info thing. And then let's check if it works. Uh, oh yeah, I need to install pip install requests requests. Uh, that's because they use it under the hood. The, the off play library uses uh, requests under the hood and it doesn't install them right away. So we need that. Okay. It should be running now. So now we're on localhost 5000 um, with no cookies here, no sessions, nothing. If we go to slash login, it will redirect us to Google. I'll blur this out, but you should see it's like a Google login thing. And the URL is, is accounts.google, blah, blah, blah. Then I'll select the account to log in with. And that will redirect us back to the uh, localhost 5000 page with hello and then the email. And then in here, you can see we have a session right now um with whatever values and priorities and all that uh you can also set up like a max age you can you can do a lot of stuff with the session and um you can see that the info is in the session so what you what people usually do is they add like a decorator which is like required uh login required or whatever or like authorization required and they would put this on routes that need protection. So let's say we want to make this hello world about not accessible to people not logged in. So we would put this in and this would be a function middleware of a middleware function that would uh, take the session and then check in the session if the user user data is in there and then check if it's valid. If it is, it will let us access this. If it's not, it will return. You need to log in or it will redirect the user to slash login. That's the basic premise of all of this. Um, the only uh, thing left to do is actually create a logout route, which I'll do real quick. It's it's quite simple actually. So app route slash logout, 
and then we'll define a logout like that and then we'll say uh, session <clears throat> no 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 for key in uh, list session dot keys and then we'll say session pop key and then we will read uh, return redirect the user to slash so what this does is for each key in the session so email and all the other ones it will uh, remove them and the reason I make it a list here is because um, I'll, I'll take the keys from it and then I make it a list because you know it should go through and remove each other each one yeah and that's it so if I save that restart this real quick go back into the browser refresh so currently we are logged in if I go to slash log out, it logs us out. If I refresh this, I'm still logged out. If I go back to log in again, hello, Google login page, and then I can click log in again. And I'm logged in again. That's pretty much it. I'll tidy up this code, comment it a little bit, make it nice and clean. Um, and uh, you can check out the code in the description, which will be a lot nicer than this. This is just the most bare bones login uh, Google 2.0 OAuth setup you can have with uh, React, uh, with uh, Flask and Offlib. Thank you for watching. Hope you learned something new and I wasn't going too fast. Bye-bye.